Hi guys, welcome to The Shack. Um, just a quick video uh, to let you know about an update to the SDR Connect software and the firmware for the uh, SDR Play NRSP ST. So on the 13th of December, so uh, a couple of days ago, uh, SDR Play released the latest version of the firmware, which is 1.0.6. Uh, and on the same day, they released the latest version of SDR Connect, which is 1.0.3. Now, what's important to remember is that SDR Connect 1.0.3 requires the firmware, the latest version of the firmware, 1.0.6 as a minimum before you can actually use the NRSPST device. So what I did was I upgraded the firmware first um, successfully and then I then downloaded the 64-bit uh, the, uh, 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 Windows uh, software package and um, installed that on my computer and they both are working perfectly. So um, yeah, just important. So download and install the, the, the firmware uh, 1.0.6 before you install 1.0.3 for the SDR Connect. And what you get actually is um, so that's it lying around these you drums. get a new button, actually, most of them... which is this little hand, and that enables touch control. So if you can see here on my um, uh, Microsoft Surface, so when you toggle touch control, you get these... Uh, 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 graphics on the screen and what it allows you to do is you can actually adjust the tuning basically on screen so we're on 198 kilohertz BBC Radio 4 so 199 200 there you go it's quite handy um, you can adjust the bandwidth as well so um, because you can see the audio bandwidth filter is increasing. So it's now 14.42 kilohertz. And again, this, my, this laptop obviously has a touch screen. And you can actually also zoom in and zoom out. So these are quite handy features. Um, particularly if you're using a smaller device so like a phone or um, iPad etc these uh, uh, this touchscreen uh, these touchscreen features are actually um, pretty useful um, so yeah so that's the main feature of uh, sort of development with the latest version of SDR connect um, yeah as I said on my previous videos it's uh, a great piece of software that only really took me about 15 or 20 minutes to sort of figure out how to use it and then obviously um, since then I've, I've, I've uh, sort of been digging a bit deeper into all the various features but um, great piece of software what's so interesting actually with with this particular laptop and my um, Bose SoundLink mini external speaker I've got some really really nice audio on long wave and short wave using the NRSP uh, ST. So um, I've recorded some separate videos on that actually, which uh, hopefully some of you will find interesting. But um, yeah, I'm getting some really good audio um, using this particular laptop with the with this SDR Play device. So uh, yeah, really good. Um, and as I said, the uh, so the, the SDR Connect update and the firmware update went very very smoothly. Worked perfectly first time. Um, you shouldn't have any problems with it. But uh, definitely worth doing particularly if you use a smaller device and you want to take advantage of the uh, touch screen uh, options so uh, a really nice little touch there from SDR play anyway thanks for watching 73.